morning. We're talking about women who are the victim of sexual exploitation, which results in pregnancy. And women like that should know that there is a beacon of hope for them in Tampa Bay. It's called Her Lighthouse. Her Lighthouse is shining a light of love and hope for these women. Karen Brooks is joining us today to talk about their mission and how you can support it. Thanks for joining us today, Thank you Karen. so much for having us. Thank you. Yeah, so tell us about Her Lighthouse and who you serve. Okay, well as you said, our mission is to shine the light of hope as we rewrite stories of new life and freedom for pregnant, sexually exploited survivors and their babies. And to our knowledge, we will be the first home in the United States with our mission to provide transformational residential services for up to two years for mom and baby. So we're really excited about this and cannot wait till we find the right house and can open the door. Yes, we were just talking before the interview started about this house yes. that you're looking for. Mm -hmm. What are the needs and what have been the challenges that you faced mm -hmm. in finding the right place? Well, for the past two years, we've been on a journey of um, seeking and searching for the right home. There are um, challenges with, uh, we hope to serve four to six women and their babies. So we have to get the right zoning um, to be able to house uh, four to six and their babies plus a full-time house residential manager um, and so we've gone from trying to purchase a home to last year trying to lease a home and have not been able to find that right one yet but we are getting closer um, we've raised a little over a hundred thousand right now That's great. our board is looking uh, at many homes right now so we're just trying to find that right location um, that is safe and of course in a, a good area but close enough for transportation needs and challenges as well right how do you find these women well they're really referred to us through other anti-human trafficking organizations or other places that are working with men, women who are um, high risk for sexual exploitation because they're homeless uh, because of um, uh, to be honest with you nearly 100 percent of the women who are sexually exploited and trafficked have suffered from sexual abuse. Mm -hmm. And so there are a lot of trauma issues to deal with. And so not only the um, sexual abuse issues, but then when you add to that, um, you know, the, the sexual exploitation, mm -hmm. um, it's, it's just very devastating. And so that's why we need her lighthouse. Um, you know, we're at the place now, which is really disturbing to say, that the sex um, industry is a $32 billion crime mm. industry in the United States. Why is it such a problem in Florida, though? Well, Florida is ranked three in the United States with uh, trafficking phone calls because of our booming e economy, um, because of agriculture, and because of tourism. Mm. Right. And there's not an another home, like I said, that takes pregnant survivors and house them um, for the purpose of healing and restoration because it takes time to heal mm -hmm. and to rewrite these stories to give them hope and a future for themselves and their children for future generations. That's what, what my next question was. What does the healing look like? Mm. Um, it requires, first of all, I think the most important thing I would like to share about Her Lighthouse is that we're not just a recovery home. We're going to be a loving home environment. And our strongest desire is that these women will come to know God, um, His unconditional love, and come to know Him as their Father, and that they will be able to believe through counseling, trauma-informed care, therapy, um, that they will be able to come to believe that they are priceless. They're women of worth. They are loved and they are valued. And that they are not only priceless to God and to us, but all the supporters who give to our mission. Well, you have four transformational phases. I'm going to read them off here. Rescue, restore, rewrite, and release. Can you explain? Yes, so we have to think about when we first, uh, a woman first comes into our home, that she's gonna need some time to rest. Mm -hmm. And um, there's a lot of trauma, as we said. Every woman's story is different, but we want to be able to give her some time to rest and reflect and to be able to, to be honest with you, start to trust us. You know, right. that she can trust us. Um, when these women come, they're choosing to come. It is their choice to heal, and they can stay for up to two years. 
if they're willing to be made well and whole. Mm -hmm. And so we've got to take some time to work through the first phase of getting them used to the family home environment and it's very structured and uh, a lot of um, classes and groups and therapy, um, a lot of mentoring, but more love. Uh, uh, you know, yeah. the family love that these women have never experienced mm, growing it's up important. is it very is. important. Mm -hmm. That's the only way you can heal. So be besides finding that perfect home, yes. that's going to happen. In yes, it is. Yes. <laughs> what, how else can our viewers get involved? How can we support her lighthouse? Yes, thank you for that. You can be her light by really and truthfully, we need prayer support right now to help us to find that right home because we believe in the power <laughs> of prayer mm -hmm. um, and the financial uh, resources uh, because we know that when we find that right home, what we're looking for is you know five to six bedrooms. Yeah. We need space to do the work that we're called to do. So we're looking at probably, of course, five to 700,000 to purchase a home. And then we know we've got monthly budget expenses that we're going to need to meet. And so anyone that feels led to help invest in right. her lighthouse financially. And you need diapers and other All products. Of that. So mm -hmm. we're going to tell viewers where they good. can go for yes. more information. Awesome. Thank you so much again for joining us, Karen. And Thank for more you. information, you can head over to herlighthouse.org or email Karen, karen at herlighthouse.org. There's more daytime coming up next.